kingdom protista this is one of the five kingdoms in the classification of living things before we get into the video in full it is advisable for you to watch our previous video on the classification of living things so if you haven't watched the video on classification of living things this video might confuse you in a in some ways there are some terms here that have, that have been explained in the classification of living things that video also talks about binomial nomenclature so if you haven't watched that video try to watch that video but if you are only looking for kingdom protista then this video is for you so what are the characteristics of kingdom protista they are unicellular organisms they are all eukaryotic they move either by cilia flagella or or pseudopodia some of the proteins are heterotrophic while some are both heterotrophic and photosynthetic the mode of reproduction is usually asexual by mitosis while some have sexual reproduction by fusion of gametes there are four phyla in this kingdom and they are euglenophyta protozoa chrysophyta and pyrophyta but in this video we're only going to talk about euglenophyta and protozoa just as a fun fact they are four phyla on the kingdom protista so protozoa they belong to the group called protists so protozoa are also protists they are also microorganisms so what you should know is that all the phyla of this group will also have the general characteristics of kingdom protista so if you forget the specific characteristics you can always write the general characteristics but the tricky part is that some characteristics might not be there so you have to know which one which ones to avoid and that is what leads to the knowing the key characteristics of particular phylums so they have they are eukaryotic cells they reproduce asexually by binary fission they are mainly aquatic organisms while few are parasitic they are unicellular the organisms in this group move by different organelles amoeba moves by pseudopodia paramecium moves by cilia so from here you can know that the examples are amoeba paramecium and plasmodium euglenophyta now euglenophyta is one of the most talked about um, phylum phylums in kingdom protista now this is because this kingdom contains euglena viridis this is a protist and a typical example of an organism that has both plants and animal characteristics even though it is a microscopic unicellular organism so it is a very very small organism that can behave both like a plant and behave like an animal that means that the survival rate of this organism is very very high now what are the animal characteristics of euglena they possess flagellum used for movement you know, one of the different one of the major differences between plants and animals is the level or the rates of movements which both of them can have while animals can completely move from one place to another plants have restricted movements that means they can move but they cannot completely displace themselves from one place to another they have possession of gullets for food passage they possess contractile vacuum used for excretion and osmo regulation they have eye spots which enables them to detect light intensity they have pellicle which makes their body flexible or gives them a definite shape they have the presence of myonins which aid in movement they have the ability to carry out holozoic mode of nutrition in the absence of sunlight that means in the absence of sunlight euglena probably act like a plant and when there is no light it starts acting like an animal so that means they can live in both places that are dark for a long time and places that have light now what are the plant characteristics of euglena possession of chloroplasts which enables them to carry out photosynthesis 
deposition of pyrenoids where starch is stored presence of paramylum granules that is forms in which starch is stored it is holophytic that means autotrophic mode of nutrition so you can see that this euglena is a very very tough organism although microscopic it can behave both as a plant and as an animal so always remember this this is always a fun question that they like to ask in biology which which organism can behave both as a plant and an animal then the animal characteristics and then the plant characteristics and know if know which kingdom it is under is it a protist or is it a fungi so these are tricky questions that they can use to confuse you you might know what a euglena is you can you might know what euglena viridis is but if you forget the kingdom or if you get the kingdom wrong nobody will agree with you that you know what you're talking about so know the kingdom and know the characteristics and you are covered when it comes to kingdom protista and know the examples as well so that's that about kingdom protista